All right, it's Python on Hardware time. Mm, blinka, blinka, blinka. And a uh, special shout out to Katty, who's been running the newsletter and is back next week. So and been doing so many GitHub things and Good. helping out with products, uh, really helping out. Thank so you so much. Next week, uh, there'll be Katni's newsletter, and then uh, Anne's back, and we'll be doing the next one after that. So, um, big highlights I'll talk about in a second. So, I'm going to skip to 200 board thing. Ooh. Is um, we have 15 different available languages. Um, we reached 100 boards in January 2020 at the mm. Open Hardware Summit, and mm -hmm. over a year later, we reached 200 boards. So, um, but well, now, I'll, just, I'll just talk about it now. 200, 200 boards. So we did it. Um, 200. It is the most um, uh, what's the right word for it's a menagerie of, of fantastic electronics. It's um, it has every chipset. It has every it's, it's got every a diversity shape, size. of options. Yeah. It's, it's really like it's it's not Adafruit only board. Yeah, yeah, we have a bunch of boards in there because we like we make stuff we so make circuit python. But we're like half of it. So um, at the most. Yeah, so Adafruit boards are only half. If that. The number one download is not an Adafruit board. No. And um, if you look, and depending on who you think is a competitor of ours, those boards are all in it. Wait, and then and how much do we charge people? <laughs> none, to of course. Nothing. None. So It's free. It's open source. And, free, 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 free. And the reason we do this is because the bigger goal is to get as many people programming in Python and doing electronics as possible. Yes. And so it's free. It's okay. If you want to support us with a board, that's fine. But the best thing to do, too, is just learn some Python. So in the newsletter... Um, and you, submit your boards, too. We have guides on how to do it. Yeah. So in the newsletter, um, you can uh, check out links to Scott's presentation at the Open Hardware Summit 2021. Mm -hmm. um, Scott presented Interface Design Open Source Hardware. And the broadcast is... All the broadcasts are posted on YouTube. There's a new version of MicroPython 1.15. I want to mention, we recently, like today, merged in a pull request to bump CircuitPython up to MicroPython 1.10. So we're going to be slowly trying to catch up and merge in all of the language changes. So I know people have been waiting, and we're, it's, we're, we're doing it now. Okay. Uh, check out Scott's Deep Dive tomorrow, and you can also check out all the news. There's so many a bunch. Projects. So many encoders. There's a bunch. Um, Sony, um, shout out to Sony, how to program microtrollers using CircuitPython. This yeah, is the Sony's video. presence. And they have two videos. Um, and you can check out um, not only what Sony's doing, um, but the videos that they posted and what some mm. of the projects that the people made. Um, Make did a really neat series of, uh, I think it, it, they think they call it like Plan B. It's like how to how to like cope with like maker technologies for what's been going on in yeah. the last year. So um, they uh, Dale interviewed Carter, and uh, it's our uh, public CO two display. We use these on every floor in Adafruit to see how much CO two is around. That lets us know the air quality. That lets us know if the ventilation is uh, good enough. To continue to stay as safe as possible, all masked all the time, of course. Okay, and so the other thing I wanted to mention um, is two things. Uh, we are a participating sponsor for the Python Software Foundation, which yes. is PyCon 2021 in May. Um, it's a virtual event, and uh, we're happy we can do it. I wish we can do more. This year, of course, is a little harder to do as much as we would like to do or what we did last year, uh, or sorry, the year before, is because it was a physical device that's a little hard to do right now. But we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. And uh, don't worry, there'll be Adafruit and PyCon hardware. And um, we came up with what we could do. They were like, thank you so much. This is great. And they said, here's some graphics participating sponsor at PyCon. Um, the other thing that was in the newsletter that I thought was neat is um, Seed has their uh, shell expansion board. And um, what is the selling feature that you put on Amazon to make sure people want to use this? Ding dong. CircuitPython supported. Heck yeah. So this is, you know, there's indicators that it's like, all right, like we, That's cool. we did something kind of cool. There's all these projects. There's all that code. There's all those boards. There's all these people. There's this community. And people RP want it. And people want it, and they're sharing it, and now it's becoming a selling feature for a board when people are deciding what board is right for them. So anyway, check it out. That's all the news. Oh, one other thing that I just put in here is um, there was a, a, a more advanced rendering or graphic of the uh, Nano RP2040 Ooh. Connect That's from cool. Arduino. Um, that'll run CircuitPython as soon as we get one, mm -hmm. and uh, if not already. And so uh, check that out. So that's all in the newsletter. You can ch check that out at um, Adafruit daily.com and you sign up it's not connected to your store account or anything it's just all good all the time thank you blinka <laughs>